All right, so I want to start off showing where our ride was. <clears throat> We're going to do this video in two parts, so this is for part one. We did the Tomahawk Trail A loop in Indian River. Here, you can see where the parking lot is. This is basically the, the state of Michigan's DNR map. Um, I did Google how long it was. It shows it to be 17.9, so just about 18 miles. We go into the Polaris Ride Command, and you can see here uh, where the where the trail starts and it's basically at Straits Highway and White Road. And the green going down here is the trail. The brown is a route. So route, everything rides, trail is 50 inch or less. So basically we're riding from in here, all the green. And we get to probably in here somewhere, we got an injury to uh, in the group where someone hurt their thumb. And so we just went back up towards the trail um, kind of jumping. I believe we jumped on the route and just took the route right in, which is pretty quick. So enjoy the video. This is going to be in two parts. We're riding the Indian River Tomahawk Trail A Loop. Please feel free to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. All right, we're in Indian River. There's Tina. Quad Squad headquarters. There's Stacy. Brandon. Sarah back there, fire pit, kind of quick pan around there, Scott. Here we go. There's Chris. Waiting for the group, Chris just shot down this trail. As you can see, it's a 50 inch or less. Indian River, Michigan, a couple miles south, pretty much a couple miles directly south of the trailhead that's off Straits Highway and White Road. So again, there's the ORV route, which pretty much anything can go on. You can see, here's where we're going. I'm just sitting here on the trail waiting for the group to catch up. Oh, here they come. So here comes Brandon, Sarah, and Scott. They're coming on the ORV route, which means anything goes on it. We're going to shoot up this 50 inch or less, catch up to Chris, and keep on riding south on the Indian River Trail. All right, here we go. Brandon coming. 
This is the 570 I'm riding today. Doing a great job. There's Brandon. There's the trail he just came out of. You can see that. There's Sarah coming on down. And there's Scott. Take a step back. There's Scott, Sarah, Brandon. The 570 I'm riding today. I'm loving it. It's been a good, nice ride. And there's the rest of the trail system there. Indian River. This was all flooded out just a couple of years ago. We're going to continue on in a little bit here. inch or less I always like to say the general rule is if you fit you ride but I mean the general rule really is if your machine is 50 inches or less you ride because they will make these trails exactly at 50 inches in some spots and they'll do it in places you can't get around it and you're stuck so you know like here it's a little bit wider but there will be a spot within the next, you know, even half mile, I bet. I'm just guessing here to a mile that the trails will really tighten up. So dirt bikes, ATVs, and even side-by-sides that are at 50 inches, the trail side-by-sides can ride on these, no problem. See how this is all pretty well dead trees here. This was flooded out a few years ago. Completely flooded. I believe the county came in or DNR County and there was a beaver dam here and it just really it was like a huge almost a small lake a big pond and it just flooded out you couldn't ride this part of the trail Nice little path around it, right here. There comes the group. Starting to get into tighter woods. So you can see even here, you know, it's gonna start getting tighter and tighter on some machines. Nice thing about these, the deeper woods on a summer day is it's a lot cooler. The sun's not really getting you. And then the dust, you know, the dust doesn't really fly the same when you're in the deep woods. You know, the moisture stays on the trail a little better. Much after a bit. 
you can always just jump off them. So Indian River heading south from the trailhead, White Lake Road, Straits Highway. We're a couple miles south of it now in the 50 years or less. On the, let's see, the easternmost part of the loop. You see, it gets pretty tight. Just paying attention. If you have a big box on the back of your machine or something, you gotta worry about it hitting. I'm riding a Polaris 570. I don't have a big box in the back, so I'm pretty nimble today. Um, it's going slow enough to keep the group you know, tight, but it's uh, you know, it's still really nice. Nice, nimble machine. It's not, not tough at all if you don't have a big box on the back. You know, something big on the machine that's really kind of keeping you back. It's actually a really nice ride. Touch of technical. Little bit of hill. Not real hilly, but it's nice. We're, we're staying in the deep shade, which is great. There's no dust. Good for filming. You know, if you want to rent a Verbo or even go from a campsite, Indian River, Michigan trails, they're nice. You're in the, there's a lot to do here too. If you're here in the summer, you know, they got some beautiful lakes in the area. Burnt Lake, Mullet Lake, Silver Lake and Wolverine. Uh, there's a river that runs right through like the Wolverine and goes up past the Thirsty Surgeon River. It, go, it actually feeds all the way into Burnt Lake and it's really, beautiful water so there's people tubing uh, so when you're here in the summer michigan it's just like a paradise up here and then in the winter you got a lot of lot to do with snowmobiling and things like that as well so just an awesome area that we don't always get to here in Indian River. We ride here a lot. We know the area pretty well. And we don't come down this trail a ton just because a lot of times we've got the whole group. So many have the big storage boxes on the back. You know, that you'll hit, the, hit them on the trees. We're gonna, there's five of us out today. And we're kind of just winging it on the 50 inch trail. Loop. This, is, this is awesome. Like I said, it's a little bit technical, but really, this, man, this is fun. I'm getting into it today. I can see some tail lights up there. Chris is leading the ride. You know, a little bit of roots here and there. Just take it nice and slow. These machines, they're built to handle this, and they do exceptionally well. There's Brandon coming. See if I can get him. You can see some other headlights through the woods, maybe back in the distance. That's Scott and Sarah. There's Brandon. But I mean, man, I am really digging this trail. Heck yeah. Good ride. Really good ride. Dirt bike, you're on a 50 inch or less vehicle from White Lake, from White Road and Straits Highway Trailhead. You want to stay on the, the easternmost side of the loop on that trail and just go south and you'll run into these. A lot of times we'll shoot over to Weber Lake when we get down south, kind of on and off these trails. Today we're attempting to do a lot more of the 50 inch or less. Just staying on them more than we normally do. Normally we're bouncing on and off and on and off. Well, the camera never really picks up how steep some of this gets, so I wished it would. You know, the cuts and the turns and everything you gotta make it. It's just cool, man. It's really cool. Hold up! said earlier sometimes you kind of cut out off the 50 inch or less which is right in there just because this section of the 50 inch or less that we're talking about so tight 
so so tight so when they're that tight a lot of times we'll just bypass the section jump on the ORV route and this ORV route this is where the snowmobilers ride in the winter uh, you know side by side jeeps uh, when you're on this trail you'll see a little bit of everything the nice thing about these trails when they're like this is you can really open up and go fast if you want be a lot faster uh, you know we're a large group summer and it's dusty so we're not going as fast as what we normally would just to keep the dust out we're going to cut back into the 50 inch or less and you know what's nice you see the dust and it boom right when you get into the woods you know so just, it's there but it goes way down you can see these trails are tight but it's so fun you're in a canopy of trees their trails are wide enough to where you can kind of run i've definitely been in a lot tighter um, there's always going to be sections where it's really tight like this so i think it's just it's just how the state cuts these trails out just to keep the, the right vehicles on them. There's Chris making it over a log. I tell you, I'm definitely getting hit in the face with a lot of bugs right now. Bye. 
spot as you can see. I'm recognizing the spot where we are now. I believe there's a spot up here we like to stop. This has been a phenomenal summer day, Indian River, Michigan, in their 50 inch or less trails. This has been a phenomenal ride. You can see if you're watching the video, how tight it gets here. You know, we're out there, machine I'm on is 48 inches wide. I'm pretty used to riding this size trail. But again, it gets, it gets pretty tight. So you will see these signs too. You know, right there. This trail open to a dirt bike and an ATV. It does say ORVs 50 inches or in width of less. So there are side-by-sides out there that are 50 inch or less. So the thing is with them, if they're sitting too high and these trees hang over the trail, it gets to be a little tough just getting around them and making turns like this one here on the ATVs. Dirt bikes, this is a piece of cake. Uh, but even on the ATVs, it can be a little tricky. So I'm basically just making sure the group's here, kind of pan in the woods. There comes Brandon, Sarah, and Scott. And here we go. Awesome trails. I mean, I am in love with these trails today. We've been doing a lot of riding lately. And this 50 inch or less here has just been killing it today. Absolutely killing it down tree i don't think there's too many places you're going to go where you're not going to experience that but even look at that trail I mean, come on I've seen people fly through here. I've seen people go slow on me. I'm going to say the average person who rides at least a decent amount, they're probably going to go between 12 and 17 miles an hour. Like, especially through here, you're going here slower. Just because it's tight. It's tighter than it looks on, on film, I believe. Unless it looks that tight. this trail then look at the drop there holy cow look at Chris down there can you see him look at this love this nice nice drop off that's the trail right there here they come let's see how do we want to take this I don't know how Chris went so I'm going to go this way yeah, this is probably how he went so it's a little technical. So here you're using your engine braking. You'll find on these newer ATVs, I think all brands, honestly, all brands have where, where they uh, have good engine braking. And you don't find you use the brakes a whole heck of a lot. I've been lucky. I don't have a big box on. I'm able to whip through these trails pretty good. I got caught up in a route there, just going too slow. You know, the trail was tight. So I 
popped in four wheel drive just for some gription because there's a drop off on the one side so it was kind of good just take it nice and slow i'm not on my machine so i'm always a little extra careful on someone else's machine haven't touched a side you know hit anything or even scraped anything if i can help it not even a leaf you know nothing just nothing So it's a little more technical section here. So you can see there's some down trees. I'm gonna slow down for a second just because that was really technical and I don't know if someone had a problem. So, so I'm gonna go a little slower. I'm gonna make sure everybody's okay. I'm even gonna shut the machine down. Chris is up there somewhere. I pretty much know the direction he's going. So I can hear Brandon coming. But that was technical. Sarah in our group, she hasn't rode much in the last year. So Brandon just asked me to, you know, take it a little slower, make sure we hold up for her. There was that down tree right here. See us how I'm foot. I might as well see if I can bend this back for him, get it out of their way for the group. So it kind of snaps you a little bit when you go through it. There we go. Now the group's got a nice clean ride. Well, I can get this one for him too. There. So I can hear the motors, but I can't see them. I see some lights. I don't know if you're starting to see them through there. That's Brandon. Brandon's behind me. The order today is Chris, me, Brandon, Sarah, and Scott's bringing up the rear. I mean, you can see they're taking their time. It was tight. And here they all come. I'm kind of just making sure I don't trip over that log. There comes Brandon. Again, just he's making sure too. He's holding up, making sure Sarah's okay. These trails were really technical right here. So if you're not riding a lot, this little stretch would be tough. There's Brandon. Let me get out of his way a little. There, I'm parked. I just decided to keep filming on this. I might just include this in the video. Just kind of showing everybody. Chris will be up there waiting for me somewhere. <coughs> Wipe this lens. There's Brandon, there's, there's Sarah, and there's Scott. That's technical trail, so that was really tough, guys. So if you're not riding a lot, Got them all going. Gonna get mine started and get going again. 